Okay. Yeah. Sixteenth of Thomas. Ayom Yom. I'm in a different room, so books are in different places. Ayom Yom. Sixteenth of Thomas. I want to give a refuah shlema for um, Baruch ben Yaman ben Rachel Blima and Yehudas Golda bas Eliza Hana and Shoshana bas Hana. Beautiful. Refuah shlema b'kara. Thank you. How about others? Um, Anybody else? Yes. Fega uh, bas Shoshana. Before Shlema Bekarev Mamash, Yitzhak Feivel Ben Breina Malka, the Harbin Refuah Shlema. Okay? The Baal Shem Tov's Avis Yisroel, his love of a fellow Jew. The Baal Shem Tov's love of a fellow Jew was beyond imagination. The Magid said, he was the major student of the Baal Shem, of course, he said, if only we could kiss a Sefer Torah with the same love that my master kissed the children when he took them to Cheder as a teacher's assistant. That was the Baal Shem Tov's job. He was a teacher's assistant. Okay. If our love of Torah, I mean, you could just digest, if our love of Torah were nearly as much and certainly it would if it were to surpass the love we have for our children and our grandchildren love of torah love of hashem that would be something okay uh we're continuing with the subject of fasting even though we got to make the point initially and he makes it two or three times during these chapters the fasting is not part of the body of tshuva. Fasting is part of over and beyond the tshuva uh, to come close to Hashem, to restore. The way I have to think of it is uh, fasting is for, I mean, uh, tshuva, the proper tshuva that we've discussed, uh, brings forgiveness, right? And the fasting and its equivalent, which we'll speak about in Sadaka brings us back into a close, close-knit, loving relationship with Hashem. It's over and above the definition of Shuva. He repeats that many times, so I just want to start with that. And Lessons in Tanya for the 16th of, is on the page um, 202, excuse me, 1027, the bottom of the page in Lessons in Tanya. 1027. And here, in the Kutia Morim, it's also on near the bottom of the page, big letters, M-M, Mem-Mem, on page 184. Oh, entangled here. Entangled up. Okay. Okay. So having said that, to restore this loving relationship, Kirov, uh, the close hug, the bondedness of friendship and love with Hashem, which is established through tshuva, uh, through tzedakah, is not necessarily established only through tzedakah, uh, not only established only through fasting. In fact, he has told us that people who are weak, and he says in our generation, we are generally weaker than in previous generations, we should not afflict ourselves. And what we can do to restore that, what he calls in Hebrew, kirva Hashem, the closeness uh, to Hashem, is with tzedakah. Now he comes back to, well, okay, but if you can, and you can deal with afflicting yourself to some extent, as long as you don't call, cause harm to yourself, how can we, what's the formula, what are the formulas, so to speak, for that? So, umekol mokim, nevertheless, Kol Baal Nefesh, anyone who's literally a master of himself, anyone who really wants to be very, the best thing you can do, right? If you can do it this way. And he wants to, Chofetz Kirvas Hashem. He wants not just forgiving, but he wants a closer, kir, a kerov, kirov. He wants a close, close, close relationship with Hashem. 
to fix, the, fix or rectify one's soul. To return to Hashem, but the shuva ma'ula minamufa to a shuva which is better than the best. Ma'ula minamufa. The mufa is the best, the chose, the most choice, and even higher than that. If that's what a person desires. So yachmir al atzmoy, he can be strict upon himself. Lahashlim to complete. I'll call upon him at least. One time in all the days of this person's life, the number of fasts that have been prescribed for each of the different sins. If you remember, the prescription, the prescription for the number of fasts was given in the in the Kabbalistic writings of the Arizal. The Arizal established a certain number of fasts. Of course, Al P Ruah is Ruah Kodesh for particular averas, particular sins. So, if a person is a Baal Nefesh, he really wants to take full control of himself in his relationship with Hashem, and he's not going to harm himself. So, he there are formulae which he's not going to not going to give for how you could fast or combine the fast with money, as we'll see. So. If you want to uh, complete the, the number of fasts, l'chol oven, I'm at the top of page, Sada Gimel, for each and every sin, oven the oven, each and every sin, me'avenes ha'chumriyim, from the strict uh, iniquities, meaning the serious sins that you've done, she'chayov malei ha'misa okoponim, which these sins, if lo'yelenu, hopefully where none of us are, the chui of these kinds of sins, but there are sins, who are serious, which are serious sins, and which are punishable from, by death. Even if it's not a, a death uh, that's uh, uh, that that happens to a person, but it's, it could be one that's a flip that's uh, sentenced, you know, sentenced to death by the by the court. Kigain, for example, he comes back to this mission of seed. Uh, for no purpose, for no procreative purpose, where we have been using this as an example, the uh, the number of prescribed, uh, it's proscribed, is probably the right but it's prescribed as well. Uh, sins for the number of these is paid dollar, 84 sins for Hesos Zer Levatala. So at least he could do the 84 fast, Pam Achis Bimechayov, one time in his life meaning in all of the extent of his life. And he's going to give an example of how you could do that. And of course, this is just an example of one particular Avera. You can push, first of all, you can push away the fasts. In the short days of the winter. And you could fast like 10 fasts. In one winter, by pachas or less, depending if you want to do more fast, you know, in, in more in less days, the yigma and you can complete, for example, the eighty-four fast proscribed for this sin, eighty-four sins, the tes shonim oyoiser in nine years or more, if he according to your ability, according to your power. Remember the fundamental here. Is you you cannot fast if it's going to make you weak, that it's detrimental, of course, to your health and detrimental to your service of Hashem. So if you do it sort of in bite-sized uh, manner and in the short days, so this is an example. And he says parenthetically, also. You know that on a fast day, like we're coming up on a fast day, right? Shavos of Thomas is coming up tonight, tomorrow. So you know the halacha is, or if you don't know, the halacha is that a certain number of hours before sunrise you can eat until. So that's early in the morning. So you can rely on that also. Even if you do that, even if you eat early in the morning, according to the halacha, that's considered a complete fast. 
if you stipulate so, you're going to say, I'm going to eat something early in the morning. And you'll see if you, if you, if you want to do this, and many people do, you look on your calendar, your luak, to find until when can you eat before the day officially starts. Because, you know, this fast is it starts at day, it's not night at the night time. So you could do that. And with that, you could complete the 252 fasts. Now, remember, where does that number come from? If you remember that there's the minimum is you're going to fast the number 80. In this number, it was 84, 84 fasts. But you should fast in the most strict way for every time that you've done this particular avera. And the uh, re kind of the resolute compromise between them is at least three times complete. In this case, eighty-two fast, excuse me, yeah, eighty-four fast, three times, and eighty-four times three is two hundred and fifty-two. And you can complete them in this short way. This ration and based so much two hundred and fifty-two fast, as we've said above, which I just explained. Yisana oy dalad pa'amim pay dalad and you can. Fast for four times after Hatzois, Hayyan, Bilvat. You can do all the other uh, fasts after, uh, and, and, and you can end them after Hatzois, Bilvat. The Mechshev Gam came, Tainus Virushalmi, because this is a something that we, I mean, I, at least I have not seen in Halakha the way we part with the way we pass him, but according to the Talmud Virushalmi, fasting into past half day is also considered a fast in some cases. So you could eat in the morning before the sun rises, before the official start of the day. And according to Rishalmi, you could end it in the afternoon. So there are all various kinds of ways, depending on which one works for you, if any of them. Because he's going to say later that in general, you can be Yotzi, you can be Yotzi, fulfill all this with tzedakah without any fasting at all. But he's speaking about, remember, this is a, he said, a Baal Nefesh, someone who's very strict with himself and has the capability to do these things without impeding his, you know, interfering with his health. Obez Chatzir, I mean, he says, when you when you do this half-day fast, which is, uh, uh, according to Rishalmi, two half-days, Two half days are considered like one days according to this formula of how many days you fast for each particular avera. And he says, and this is what holds true for all the other uh, sins, or anything like them, which you know, which are serious, and you want to, again, he's going to emphasize more, 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 more than once after this, this is not for the completion of Shuvah. This is, as he said earlier, it's the Kirva Sashem. It's to not just to get to forgiveness, which is Shuva, but to reestablish a loving, close relationship. It's like bringing a gift. That's the language he used before. Giving this tainus is like giving a gift to Hashem. Like I'm I'm really yours. I shall call Lev Yudea. And every person knows in his own heart. And the bitterness, the bitterness of his soul, and wants to redeem that, and wants to move away from that bitterness of soul. The Yahweh's Vihatsadaka, and every person desires <laughs> to be righteous. So really there are a lot, and he's going to go one more day tomorrow also with various formulae, so to speak, if you are a person who craves to to uh, to, to, to restore the relationship that you had with Hashem, the loving relationship before you separated in any of, of, any of a number of ways. And that is today's time. Any questions on this? Or comments? All right. So, at least Abu Bechay and I would say for myself, just something to think about. Which way am I going to? I mean, I can, to be frank, uh, think about a number of ways in which my relationship with Hashem 
has not been, I mean, I suppose anybody, nor an average person can say not been perfect. And are there any of these formulae which I'd want to apply to myself in order to restore? These are just for um, um, Avonis that you uh, would be liable for death penalty. We're just he talking says, about... Yeah. Lachen at the top of the page. Right? Lachal oven the oven ma'oynis ha'chamurim from the, from the very serious sins, shechayovim aleihem misa al kalpanim, that you're high oh, death, even if it's not, even if it's just death by the hand of heaven. So this is the kind of sins we're talking about. We're not just talking about transgressing this, that, or the other. We're talking about transgressions mm -hmm. that, Serious that, sins, yeah. That most exactly. of us ho hopefully didn't commit. Hopefully. So we, I wonder what lesson yeah. we could learn for that. Like if, if let's say 90% of the population didn't commit s s punishable by death sins. What is our lesson? Because everybody needs to have a lesson here. Well, first of all, you have to make sure that you really don't, you're falling into the category that you said, and that you haven't really transgressed any of the ones that are in that getter. So you have to know the list of things that are punishable, misebe uh, deshemayim, at least. So that's the starting point. And if you're not there, so there, there's not, this doesn't apply to you in a halachic way. It could apply to you in a more drush kind of way, you know. In other words, what, I'm serving Hashem to the best, right, right? I'm doing the mitzvahs, right? And I'm very happy that I'm doing the mitzvahs. But is, is there something special I can give? Like, you know, you have a relationship with a, with a friend, uh, a dear friend, and your relationship is going fine. But there comes a moment when you just want to say, wow, I, you know, I want to just let you know how much I love you. So that, could, that can apply here as well. Yeah, that's good. You, know? yeah. you don't have to, but I want it. Okay. Anybody else? All right, then. See you tomorrow in the session. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.